New for you this morning, bonding together to end poverty. That is the expected call to action from an award-winning author who is set to speak in Greenville today. Matthew Desmond will take to the stage at the Peace Center in downtown Greenville, and that is where we find our very own South Carolina's Myra Louise. Yes, we are outside the Peace Center. We can see organizers getting things in place inside there, but in a little while we'll see a stream of people heading in to hear from the Pulitzer Prize winning author and Princeton professor Matthew Desmond. Now, Desmond is expected to bring up much of what he brought up in this book, Amer uh, Poverty by America, and uh, he says by instead of in because he argues that the government policies, company practices and consumer choices are either causing or contributing to people living in poverty in this country. Now he talks about the inequity and in wealth and attitudes that have made it harder to change that, saying policies tend to focus more on safeguarding wealth rather than empowering the poor. Desmond is asking individuals to do what they can to end poverty. One of the questions I get often is, gosh, I'm just an individual. What can I do to create change in our community? And that's a really important piece of this because we all as individuals have the ability to help change the community that we live in, whether that's policy and advocacy efforts. Voting is very, very important, um, as we know, in terms of, of the path that we're choosing for our community, but also about where we live and how we spend our money and where we invest is really important as well. Now, while Greenville continues to see a lot of growth and development, results of a study by the United Ways of South Carolina revealed that there are more people than many may think who are actually struggling in the community. Now, the United Ways of South Carolina conducted what's called an ALICE report. ALICE stands for Asset Limited Income Constrained Employed, referring to a part of the population that is above the poverty line but still struggling to make ends meet. Now, a comprehensive ALICE study on this population shows 53% of restaurant servers in South Carolina live below the ALICE threshold, and 46% of cooks in the state do as well. 36% of all retail salespeople are also considered to be living below the Alice threshold. Now, in this book, Matthew Desmond says one of the best ways to begin fighting poverty is to actually form a relationship with someone who is living in poverty and that will actually help you get along with, uh, you know, form friendships with people from all income levels. Now, United Way's president says that his appearance here today will definitely spark some conversations and hopefully some action as well. Reporting live in Greenville, my Ruiz, Fox Carolina News.